Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we are going to do a first impression, a review, a photography test, and a wearability test of this new foundation from Makeup Forever. This is their reformulated HD foundation. The old one is this one. I really love this foundation for my brides because it's HD high definition. It really looks good on camera. And for bridal makeup, you really like a foundation that would really look well on photographs. And high definition foundation was really invented for film and TV because they started to use 4K camera that can really zoom in and really show the artist's skin. So it can really show every pore, every line. So they really invented a high definition foundation so that the actors could have a foundation that looks like skin while blurring pores and lines and that would really reflect well on camera. The biggest difference that I noticed between these two foundations is that this new formula claims to be waterproof and also this claims to be 24 hour wear. I'm gonna swatch the old formula on my hand and swatch the new one. So you can see that the old formula is thinner than the new formula and also when you blend it out, the new formula looks thicker than the old. The old formula, it doesn't really set itself. Even after 5 minutes, you could really see that it's very tacky. The new formula is quite self-setting. It would dry down easily and it wouldn't move. So let's try this foundation on. Usually I use my e.l.f. Putty Primer as a primer, but today since we're using the Makeup Forever, I'm also going to use their Makeup Forever Primer. So on my right side, I'm going to use a brush, and then on my left side, I'm going to use a sponge. I'm going to shake the foundation really well. The liquid foundation is in the middle. It's not too thick, and it's also not too runny. Start here. I think it's a little light for my skin tone, but will work with it. When it comes to scent, it has a little scent to it, but it's not overpowering. With one pump, I'm already running out of foundation. Like, it didn't cover the center of my face. I didn't even get to that. Maybe I'll just dot it on my face and then just spread it out. So this is just with one pump. You can't cover half of your face with just one pump. So I'm going to do another pump. Maybe use my fingers to put it where I want it. And then spread. Say that one and a half pump will give you a light coverage. Now let's go on to the other side and I'm going to use a sponge. I like it better with a brush, so I'm going to do a second layer by using a brush. I don't see any radiance yet. I would say that this looks soft matte on me, but we'll do a second layer and we'll see. So this is my face with around four pumps of foundation. Foundation gave me a medium coverage. I can still see a little of my sunspots on the side of my cheeks, but the redness on my nose is gone and my skin looks even. So I waited for around five minutes so that it can set on my skin and it feels a little, just a little tacky, but I think it's ready for my cream products. It looks skin-like, but it's almost going to a soft matte finish. Again, this gave me a medium coverage. I can still see my freckles and even some of my veins on the side of my cheeks. So I think that you would really need a concealer to really conceal some of your imperfections when using this foundation. And even under my eyes, it's really telling me that I need to use a concealer. So I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. When it comes to blending your creams, on top of this foundation. This foundation didn't move at all. I was kind of heavy-handed when I was really blending my bronzer, but this foundation didn't move. It's really a good base for cream and liquid makeup. So I'm back and I finished my makeup. I think that the biggest strength of this foundation is that it wouldn't move. Once it's on, it's on. Even with powder products, because I didn't put any powder on this part of my face and it just went straight with my 
powder bronzer and powder blush and all the powder just really blended well on my face but looking at the mirror and close up i could still really see my pores And since this is an HD makeup, a high definition makeup, we can't forget to test it with photography if it really reflects well on photos. Video wise, it looks really good. My skin looks very even. It looks like I have a really good skin looking at the camera. Set my makeup with a setting spray. Let's also really try if this is waterproof. See if I cry. Okay, I'm gonna let my tears drip. Okay, see? Initially, when I put the water in, damp it with my tissue paper, I can still see the streak, but now it's gone. Oh gosh, will this be my new favorite foundation for my kit? Might be. Oh wow, the foundation really didn't move even after that water test. So this is the fourth hour and you can really tell that I'm getting oily, but it's mostly on my right side. I'm not sure why. So usually when I get oily, I use a blotting sheet. So I'm going to use my blotting sheet first and let's see if there's still foundation behind all of that oil. I forgot to set this with a setting spray. So this is a wear test without a setting spray. So the blotting sheet really refreshed my foundation, although now I can see that I don't have foundation on the side of my nose. The coverage is still there. I didn't even put setting powder on the side of my cheeks. It's just the right side that's having an issue. But other than the nose and the oiliness on the side of my cheeks, everything looks fine. The coverage is also still there. My blush, my bronzer is still intact. So I'll update you on the 8 hour and I'll give you my final thoughts. So this is the 8 hour. I'm going to go closer so you can really see what my skin looks like now. On the 4th hour, I blotted my right side because that side was getting oily. But now my left side is getting oily than my right side. So I'm just going to blot again. Now that I blotted my face, I realized the blotting sheet is actually the culprit on why my foundation moved and the reason why I don't have foundation anymore because when I blotted, this part of my foundation was gone as well. So if you want to touch up throughout the day using this foundation, I think that it's better if you use a powder than a blotting sheet. Other than getting oily on my T-zone, the foundation is still there on my face. Maybe it thinned out a bit, but the coverage is still really good. My blush, my bronzer is still intact. So when it comes to wearability, I think that this could really wear long on your face. And mind you, I didn't even use a setting spray. So I'm giving this foundation a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed using this foundation. I really think that the greatest strength of this foundation is that this is really a good base for your makeup. I also like that this foundation is waterproof. So if you are a bridal makeup artist, is you understand the importance of waterproofing your bride's makeup and you don't have to worry about this foundation because it is truly waterproof I like that it really photographs well this is really a high definition makeup for sure i think that this would be really good on occasions when you know that you'll be photographed or filmed when it comes to their claims that it's undetectable i would say it's undetectable under the camera because this is an HD high definition foundation. It, it's meant to look good on camera and photos and videos. So looking at my photograph, looking at my video, my skin looks so natural, my skin looks flawless, but don't expect this to look the same in person. I'm not saying that it looks bad in person, but in person, you would really see that you have makeup on. Don't expect this to be like 
oh my skin looks very natural it looks like I have no foundation on no it will just do that under the lenses of the camera also like that this foundation didn't cake didn't crease the only movement I saw was when I was using the blotting sheet and although in person I can still really see my pores it didn't settle into my pores I don't think that you could build this foundation to a full coverage and that's what high definition foundation usually does it just goes up to a medium coverage i don't mind it because i know that i can use a concealer to cover the darker pigmentations on my face or the pigmentation under my eyes and this foundation is such a good base that my concealer would just blend well on top of this foundation for an eight hour wear i think that my skin still looks good even on camera i think that this foundation really wears well and mind you, I didn't even use a setting spray. I think that this would really be good for people with normal to oily skin. But if you have very oily skin like me, just make sure that you have powder in hand because at the fourth hour or on the sixth hour, you would have to touch this foundation out because it wouldn't control the oil too much. If you have dry skin and you're looking for a radiant foundation, I don't think that this foundation would be fit for you because this actually gave me a soft matte finish. And even on their website, they didn't even mention that it's suitable for dry skin. They only mentioned, I think, normal and oily. So if you have dry skin, I think that you would like the NARS light reflecting foundation more. That's it. That's my review on this new foundation. If you have any questions or if there's some things that I didn't cover on my review, just comment down below. I will be so happy to answer all of your questions. Also, if you've used this foundation, kindly share your experience down below so we can help the community decide whether this is a good foundation for their skin type. Hope you find this video helpful and on my next video, I'll be reviewing this Shiseido foundation. This is their Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Oil Fee foundation so watch out for that also don't forget to check my foundation playlist where i review both high-end and drugstore foundations For that, don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated once a new video is out thank you so so much also again for watching Paalam!